Hello again my friends, this is Michelle with Adventure Mentality and in today's video we are on part two of our Wild West road trip that we took in 2019. So as I mentioned, this is part two of our road trip. If you need to watch part one, go ahead and go watch that one real quick. At the end of the last video, we were in Flagstaff, Arizona, staying in a little cabin in the middle of nowhere. While staying in Flagstaff, we were going to be visiting the Grand Canyon. We actually went two separate times. The first time we drove over to Williams, Arizona and got on the Grand Canyon train that rides from Williams, Arizona up to the Grand Canyon and back again. So it is a pretty long trip. I think it was a couple hours there and a couple hours back, but it was definitely worth it because I was able to relax. The kids really enjoyed it. The scenery we saw was really cool and it was just a really neat experience. When we finally got to the Grand Canyon itself, it was definitely breathtaking. The views were absolutely spectacular. The weather was really nice. Levi wanted to go on a little hike, so we picked a trail and just walked a little ways down and turned around and came back. Another thing we did was to go to the visitor center and get a Junior Ranger workbook so that the kids could earn their Junior Ranger badges for the Grand Canyon. Share what I learned with my friends and my family. I pledge to preserve and protect Grand Canyon and all national parks and to be a friend to my planet Earth. Congratulations, you guys. After spending a couple hours at the park, we got back on the train to head back to Williams. After the long day, I definitely enjoyed the train ride back so that we could all just relax. And they did have a couple of fun activities to help the time pass a little quicker. My name is Cindy. Where do you how to take a vacation? I really appreciate all the kids coming up here and sharing their jokes. Um, it just, Stop shooting out our tires, we only have so many. Oh no! They basically, yeah, they're here to rob you guys. So what they're going to do right now is they're boarding the train, that's why we have to come to a complete stop, otherwise they will sue us. When they get here to this car, you have to act super scared. Their pride is basically in the dumps. These guys get caught like twice a day, every single day. So when they come in here, we have to boost their pride a little bit by acting super scared. You can do that, right? Gentlemen, no need to be the hero. Everything is fine. Kids, it's okay to be scared because you're probably taller than one of them. Take your pictures, take your videos, have your fun with it. Leave a dollar out to get stolen if you so choose. Um, if not, have a happy and safe robbery. The reenactment was really fun and we all had a good time and of course we told the marshal. All in all it was definitely an excellent day and I would definitely recommend taking the train when you go on your next trip to the Grand Canyon. The next day we drove back up to the Grand Canyon for a star party and we made a couple of stops along the way. Give it to the deer. Give it to the deer. Oh, 
That's a reindeer. Yes, it is with a huge rack. On the other side, you can see the red. Top tunes, excellent. <laughs> the first stop we made was at the Grand Canyon Deer Farm. It was really cool because we got to feed a whole bunch of deer and see a whole bunch of animals that you don't really get to normally interact with. the deer farm we were on our way to the Grand Canyon and we just had to stop at this old Flintstones campground because when I was a little girl we went on a trip to the Grand Canyon and we stayed at this campground and I remember it and I remember seeing pictures of it and so seeing it again with my kids was really really fun. I'll have to find some old pictures and probably do a YouTube short comparing the pictures from then and the pictures now. And I mentioned we were going to the Grand Canyon for a star party. This was a really cool event where they made sure that there were no external lights on in the park and they had hundreds of people come and bring telescopes to set up so that we could come and, and look at the stars and we could see the Milky Way. It was a really, really cool event that I definitely would recommend trying out if you've never been to one. After our fun time in the Grand Canyon, we needed to make the trek back home and we made a couple of stops along the way. The first one was Meteor Crater Landmark close to Winslow, Arizona. It's really just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing anywhere around it. And it's just this big crater that they've got and they've got some space rock. So it's a pretty cool little stop. Then we made our way to Four Corners where the four states of Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, and Utah all come together and you can be in four places at once. After the Four Corners, we made our way up through Colorado to Colorado Springs. We met up with some friends and decided that we wanted to go to the top of Pikes Peak, which actually probably ended up not being the greatest idea. The trip up to the top ended up being really bad for our transmission, which was already not in the best shape to begin with. It ultimately ended up causing the death of our van on the way home, which is another story in and of itself. However, I do highly recommend going to the top of Pikes Peak. It is a complete rush, and there are several ways that you can get up there without having to drive your own car all the way to the top. We made it to Pikes Peak. And it's pretty crazy. The drive was so scary. And while the drive up was definitely scary, it was nothing compared to the drive back down the mountain. We took our time coming home and didn't rush around for our last few days, but we did take some time to go and see Garden of the Gods in Colorado Springs. And while it is not a national park, it is a national natural landmark and there is so much to do. And one of the really good things about it is that it is 100% free and plans to stay that way for the foreseeable future. I don't know about your kids, but my kids love climbing on rocks and playing in sand. So this was a fantastic stop and there was so much to keep them occupied. There are lots of easy trails and hiking paths that you can take with kids 
and there are a couple of other more strenuous hikes that you can do if you have older kids or just adults and there are also other activities that they have and events that they have going on at different times of the year so make sure to look it up if you're ever in the Colorado Springs area and see if there's anything going on or you can just head over there for a little bit of nature time you need a lift Was it fun? Yeah. yeah. We decided to eat at a little Italian pizza place in downtown Colorado Springs, and the food was absolutely delicious. It was definitely a good way to end our time in Colorado. Good job! Is it this one? Color! I see you thinking about it. Good job coloring! So I mentioned that our van died on the way home. We actually made it from Colorado all the way to Kansas City, Missouri and our transmission gave out. So we made it to a crappy motel and ended up staying the night. We got in contact with some people through our church who helped us out. They ended up towing our van to their house and giving us a ride to the airport so we could pick up a rental van that we were going to have to take from Kansas City to St. Louis. We had to move the topper and all of the luggage over. It was honestly just a huge mess but we were super blessed to have met the people that we did and even though it was a really traumatic experience after some time I was able to see the good in the experience there are some things that we changed about the way we traveled like having AAA among other things it was definitely an eye-opening experience that I never wish to have again but it was definitely something that we learned from so thanks for coming on our Wild West road trip with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the next videos coming out. And if you haven't yet, make sure you check out part one of our Wild West road trip. We'll see you in the next video.